People say Romans were great. The huge empire, the infrastructures, art, architecture, the Roman law. They left us with so many things. But the most amazing thing about them is the fact that they are still influencing our daily lives. I'm talking about the calendar. Romans called the first day of every month calende, therefore, calendar. Now, have you ever wondered why January is called January and February is February? Well, you've guessed it, the Romans have given these names. Although in 1582, Pope Gregory XIII modified it by taking 10 days off to match the season, otherwise, they would have had to celebrate Easter in the summer. Basically, we all are still using the same calendar created by Julius Caesar in the year 46 BC. Caesar and his scholars they decided a year should be 365 days, and every four years we should have the leap year. If it wasn't for this guy, probably we would be using a completely different calendar. Who knows which one? Legend says back in the 8th century BC, Romulus, the founder of Rome, already h a v e invented a calendar, which was a lunar calendar, starting the year in March, and it had 10 months instead of 12. Winter months were not considered, so after December, they waited March, staring at the moon. It was Numa Pompilius, the second king, who added the two winter months, and in 154 BC, For political reasons, they moved the beginning of the year from March to January. So here are the 12 months in English here and in Italian here. January, in Italian, Gennaio, dedicated to Janus or Giano. He's an ancient god with two faces. In Latin, Janua is a door. So he's the god of passage, representing old and the new. The past and the present. February, febbraio, dedicated to Febris, goddess of healing and purification. They used to burn the fields with fire. By the way, the word fever derives from the name of this god. Fever and February have got the same origin. March, marzo, dedicated to Mars, the god of war. Spring was also the beginning of the war season. April, Aprile, dedicated to Aphrodite, known also as Venus, the famous goddess of love. May, Maggio, dedicated to Maya, the goddess of fertility. She's also the mother of Mercury. June, Junio, dedicated to Juno, the wife of Jupiter, Zeus. Why do all the girls want to get married in June? Because it's the month of Juno. The goddess of marriage. July and August are a bit complicated. Originally, they were called Quintilis and Sextilis. Quintilis. Quinto means fifth in Italian, so it's the fifth month of the year. So, why July the fifth month? This is the tricky part. Remember, I've said originally March was the first month of the year? Now, if you count from March, July would be the fifth month. August would be the sixth month. Sixth in Italian is sesto. Practically, from July and on, the names of the months were just numbers. September, settembre. Seven is sette. Seventh, settimo. October, ottobre. Otto, ottavo. November, novembre. Number nine, ninth would be nono. December, dicembre. Ten is dieci. Tenth, decimo. Now let's get back to July and August again. So, where does the word July, luglio, come from? After the death of Julius Caesar in 44 BC, They named July Julius in his honor. He was born on July 12th. So, August is August because Augustus was born in this month? No, he's born in September. 
August is the month when Augustus was elected for the first time as consul. So to honor his career, they named this month August. So there you go, the 12 months of the year. Now you know where the names come from. Every time you check your agenda, remember ancient Romans are right next to you. I'll be making many other videos, so if you want, please subscribe.